Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh. It has been nearly a month since I've last vlogged. So wow, hi. I've missed you guys. I've missed vlogging. This is so crazy. I'm low-key kind of nervous. I don't know why. I feel like I'm like going on a first date. I legitimately made a list last night, just kind of like jotting down ideas and the first thing that I wrote down on the page underneath Tuesday vlog was dash look cute AF. Seriously, Tuesday vlog look cute AF. I'm about to, you know, be back on here. They haven't seen me in a minute. Like, I gotta look decent, you know, so you guys still like me, you know. So I, I like, got all ready for you guys as if it was going on like a little, a little date or something. Anyways. Happy New Year, you guys. It's 2021, and I feel like since we've been away, I kind of need to catch you guys up. I feel like you guys are kind of out of the loop and what's been happening. It's like I'm like being a bad friend. So I haven't vlogged at all while I took my break, but I did take a lot of pictures. So I thought that I would show you guys kind of like a glimpse of these like different events that happened during my break. So the first one is I had a wonderful Christmas with my family, and this is a glimpse of my Christmas. I will never need a scrunchie ever again. Thank you so much. I have the best one. Friends on the top and then the central perk. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my honey. god. It was wonderful and sweet and amazing to be with my mom and sister. And then a pretty big milestone happened in George and I's relationship. But no girlfriend of George's has ever ever met his mom. I'm the first girlfriend to ever meet his mom. Obviously met her ages ago. I've spent tons of time with his family in like LA when they come and visit. But I've never been to his family's house in Arizona because having one of his girlfriends sleep under the same roof as his parents is a big deal. And I've been aware of that. And I've been patiently waiting and super excited for the day to come that I'll be able to visit his parents and stay with them and see where Jordy's from and you know where he grew up, where he went to school and all that. So that finally happened. It was really, really special to me. It was really special to his family and really special to George. So that was just a really, a really, really wonderful, sweet time. And I wanted to share that with you guys. But I did other things. Just a little splash of everything in between. So here it is. <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys new things that I'm currently using or liking or doing. So, uh, I don't know, maybe this will give you guys some inspo or maybe you'll be like, oh, I want to try that, you know, give you guys something new to try. So these are some of the things that I'm currently liking and uh, they're just new. Uh, actually, there's one thing. There's one thing that I am going to talk about that's I've already mentioned before. The first thing that is new and that I'm liking is I have a new scent. I've always worn either, my OG was Chanel number no. five, and then it was uh, Chanel Mademoiselle, and then it was Chance by Chanel, and then it was the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Those scents, you could not go wrong with. But for Christmas, I got these gifts and I'm loving it. So my mom got me a like OG Ralph Lauren uh, perfume. It smells amazing, currently loving it. And then I'm not much of a vanilla-y type scent person. I like more fresh, floral, like women scent, if you get what I mean. I don't know how to describe that. Uh, but then my sister got me the Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs and it's, oh, so sweet. But oh, like E-A-U, it's clever. It's a sweeter perfume. It's kind of like vanilla, but I'm really, really liking it. I'm actually wearing it right now and you feel just like cute. This next one is incredibly affordable. It's a body spray. It smells amazing and it's from Bath and Body Works. And it is the Salt Water Breeze 
fragrance mist and guys this oh, it smells so good it smells good it has like a really wonderful perfume smell but in this body mist i don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever but anyways this is a really 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 good one those are the three fragrances that i love this is not a new product and i have mentioned it in a video before but i have a new sense of appreciation for it because it just keeps on getting better and that's shea butter. I'm like giving you guys such a tip and such an intel on this product. Shea butter is the bomb. Dot com. You guys need to try it and get some for yourself. It's so cheap. Like this whole container is five dollars. And because shea butter is so like it's so thick, a little goes a long way. So it lasts you forever. So I recommend getting this one by OK, the white smooth, because there's different types. So some are kind of yellow and they're chunky. I'll take my thumb. I'll scrape the top. I'll do about like this much, and then I warm it in between my fingers, and then I just. Obviously, I have makeup on it, and then I moisturize my face and my neck. It's so good for your skin. It's so natural. It's such a good moisturizer. It's also antibacterial. It does so many things, and I, I truly, truly cannot recommend it enough, and that's why I kind of wanted to bring it up again. Okay, another thing is these glasses. My sister got them for me for Christmas. They're by Dime. They're so cute. I know they're really big on my face. <laughs> I love the clear framed look. These are blue light glasses, which are great for when you're like on your phone for a long time or on the computer. I get really bad migraines, so it helps with preventing getting migraines from like looking at a screen for too long. And they also have other benefits, but more importantly, they're cutest. I recommend getting a pair. All right, the next thing is liquid chlorophyll. This stuff is amazing. I'm sure you've probably seen some sort of TikTok about it or something like that. I've started drinking it every single day. I've already noticed a difference in my skin and it has so many more benefits. Okay, so some of the benefits of chlorophyll are stimulating the immune system, eliminating fungus in the body, detoxifying your blood, cleaning your intestines, getting rid of bad odors, energizing the body, preventing cancer. I mean, it, chlorophyll is good for so many things, um, skin being one of them, and then everything on the inside. So I got the one that's by World, and it's chlorophyll from Alfalfa. Anyways, you get the point. So I'm going to show you guys how I drink it. <laughs> I do a whole bunch of ice uh, warning. It's super green and it stains like really badly. So I would be careful. Okay, so I do a tablespoon of the chlorophyll. I've been putting a whole lemon in my water. Putting an entire lemon in your water in general is really good for you. Then it just tastes like fresh lemon water. Okay, and then I fill it up with water. And that's it. I'm gonna shake it together. good and that's it it's so simple and it's so good i'll keep you guys updated these shoes right here i love they're just plain white feeler shoes that kind of have like a platform but i'm obsessed with them because my air force ones i've worn them to death they're so dirty so now i have these fresh and white but honestly i kind of like them better than the air force one i like them better they're super comfortable they're really flattering the like platform on it makes all your outfits like look really cute it kind of gives you like that boost of like tallness they're just a good staple shoe and that's all I gotta say about them. This was the set that I was wearing. That was the outfit I picked for my date with you guys. And then, we have another shoe. Boom. There are these like Costco slippers that my mom got me. They're in like indoor slash outdoor slipper and they have a bottom that's good for like outside. But they're really comfortable and warm and they're really cute. I'm kind of obsessed with these. Nice. Tommy got a lot bigger since you guys probably last saw him. Look at this big guy. Look at this big teddy bear. That's about it. Those are some of the things that I've been currently loving. I don't know if you guys know him, but I have a boyfriend and he's pretty cute. And he got even cuter! I hope they would know. What are you <laughs> hiding me? Oh yes, we are so private. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Is anybody else as sad as I am about like the curls being gone? I love the curls. I love the curls, they're just so cutie. But now, you look like a fox. Damn, baby, you just look so good. Damn, damn. I'm not a piece of meat. Damn, ooh, ooh. 
going off the theme of things that I love, I only ever want to like share things with you guys that I truly, truly love and am passionate about and like doing. And so I figured that the perfect first activity of the year to do on the vlog would be to paint because you guys know how much I love to paint and I feel like you guys have enjoyed it in the past. Let's get creative. Okay, now I need to get inspired. So I'm gonna be looking on Tumblr, I'm gonna be looking on Pinterest, I'm gonna be doodling. Resume the intense music. I'm done. It's beautiful. This is a masterpiece. Enough messing around. Now I'm going to really do some painting. <laughs> I got a bowl of Cheerios. I'm just gonna have fun. Honestly, I didn't really get that much inspiration. I didn't really find, I know after all that, <laughs> I didn't really find anything that I particularly like loved or was like inspired by or was like oh I'm gonna try and recreate this or whatever so I'm actually just gonna kind of redo a painting I've done in the past I'm going to do this like really pretty dark sparkly blue with white and then I'm gonna do this taupe color and a little bit of gold so it'll almost be like a peach vibe <laughs> my colors that I want and then I'm going to flick some of it a little bit more to the outside and use this <laughs> Hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> Leo decided to jump on my painting. And he stepped on it and it, it, she glid. Glided. Yeah, glid is not a word. <laughs> he glid across my painting. Wow, it looks cool on your camera, huh? It does look cool. Look how sick this looks. This fucking... <laughs> oh, 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 she's super sane. Uh, Goku, hurry, get her. Alright, this is what I got so far. Added a little bit of like texture in the middle here. To kind of like cut things up. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this so far. It's unfinished. I, I like it, but I don't love it. And I don't know what else to do with it. So I'm not going to force it. And then I'll revisit it this week or next week or whatever. And maybe finish it up. Thank you. I mean, we have to say goodbye. Why? I don't want to say goodbye.
We have to say goodbye. Okay, see you later, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys soon.